I didn't sort of want to be a painter, but I was always told I am a painter. And in the end, I sort of so I accepted that maybe that is then what I am. <laughs> For me, it was, I suppose it, it was okay to not be a painter. For me, the important thing was discovering some context in which it was okay for me not to have to paint. The main reason that people are a bit disturbed is because they are so yeah. big. They're very big, so psychologically... Um, well, I just want to ask him, do you find my babies ugly? <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it means. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, for me, it wouldn't be a contradiction to say, this is so beautiful, this is so ugly, mm -hmm. that both one could say both mm -hmm. of those statements and accommodate both kind of at the same time. A painting needs a wall to object to. I mean, I suppose the long-term hope or the long-term trajectory of a lot of the films that I make is that they are neither meaningless nor do they have a meaning mm -hmm. that can be fixed. 